dumb one. How are you? Um, I decided to talk about Alone. Um, a TV Survivor show I've been watching. Actually, my dad got me hooked on this. Um, because him and his brother has been watching this, um, for many seasons. I just started watching, like, probably season six to now. I like it. I'm actually a cool fan of the show. Um, in case some of you don't know what this show is, I'll just give you a quick intro to it. I'm um, your... Left on in a wall in the wall in this separated from all, all the other contestants. So many miles apart. And you have to fend for yourself. You have to get your own food, your own water. You can't bring them with you. Um you're only allowed to choose ten items. Like a lot of them choose a bow and arrow and a hatchet or a hunting knife. Um you can't bring a fish around with you to fish, but you can bring the fish and wire. Um each of them is given a walkie-talkie, which you can call in case you have a you can't go no more. Or in case one season, one person she um had bow and arrow was ready to shoot something and she slipped and the arrow shot right through her leg, so she had to call her and be sent out because she was injured. Um, yeah, other person just was like eighty plus days in the wall by himself and he just. Couldn't do it no more, and he was missing his loved ones and his family, and he called it quits. Um, you also are taken out of the game if um, the people that do this game, the producers of that, they um, every so many weeks they come and do a health safety check on you. And if they occur that you're losing too much body mass or weight loss or not looking good, they're actually allowed to take you out of the game. Like last season... One guy shot, I got 800 pound moose. And they actually said on screen, it was 800 pounds. And he had a lot of moose meat. And he was just eating off of that for like 80 plus somewhat days. And then um, they came to do the self check, and he had lost a lot of body fat. And he didn't understand why. And the producers on the show said, because moose meat isn't fatty, it doesn't have enough fatty tissues on it. So they're giving him a warning. Um, he has so many weeks to get his fat increase. Another guy ended up losing 80% of his body weight because he was just starving himself to death because he could not find no food. was having no luck. Um, he tried to snare some rabbits on that and tried to catch some squirrels. And like I say, he was having no luck. So this, his vital organs were um, in danger next. Um, so they... Took him out of the game. Um, this season, there's 10 contestants. You're separated in Grizzly Mountain, which is known for having an overpopulation of grizzly bears. Um, they're separated many miles away from each other. so they And um, they all got their survival gear with them. Um, you meet five contestants this season. You meet Tim. Um... He spent the first three out of the five days building a shelter. Um, and did not go after food and water. Um, you meet Rose. Um, her makeshift shelter is one of the craziest shelters I've seen yet on this show, folks. It's just a tarp on a tree branch. That's about it for now. Um, she found a lot of wild berries, which she said was good for you to eat. Get, um, apparently it's good at vitamins. Um, she ate so many of them she got sick. And was about to tap out call for assistance. Because she was so nausea vomiting. But she stuck it out. She's still in the contest. Um, you meet Clay. I like him. Uh, and you meet Matt. And you meet a guy named Baiko. Baiko I don't like. All right off the top of the bat. Every season folks. There's a guy... Or go on the show and they're so cocky, so full of themselves. This is him. By far. Um, he's in a rock and roll band. Um, he does something else for a living. And uh, he already is screaming at the top of his lungs. Lyrics. Um, there was some rainwater. And um, he basically drank the dirty rainwater. Off of his tarp. That was full of like leaves and bugs. Ugh. Um. And instead of building a shelter. He 
spent five days forging a hunt knife and putting a nose piercing with, with a bone from an animal he caught. Yeah. Um, I can't remember, folks, I'm sorry, it was, um, Coder, I mean, Jordan, or Clay that came across a mountain lion, um, and they had an intense stare down, the mountain lion left, uh, Matt, um, he's the very first contestant, um, that comes across the grizzly bear, um, she has cubs with her. And he is freaking out and is about to call it, call like for like back, like get me out of here. But he just does a stare down. The Grizzly or Cubs leave, so he's still in the game. Um, Tim is the first contestant to tap out. Um, he um, built his shelter, like I said, for three days without going for food and water. And um, he had a heart condition. Well, um, at the six day mark, he was having an exotic attack of chest pains, and because of his heart condition, he knew what these symptoms were. Was I'm gonna have a heart attack here, and uh, he was in not a good shape, so he called and they airlifted him out. Um, he spent six days, um, I mean, four days in the hospital. I'm sorry, um, he's okay now, and he talked again in each episode. If you tap out, they bring them back and they talk like. Their experience of how many days they were in the wild. And he, he said, I should have went after food and water. Instead of spending three days building a shelter. He said, those 72 hours without protein. And water in my system affected my heart condition and that. Um, so there you have it. Um, the next season, which is this following week. You uh, met with the other five contestants. There's uh, Nate. Teresa. Michelle, um, Coder, and I believe Jordan, I believe his name, yeah, Jordan here. They're the other five contestants you're introduced to, and where someone tapped out, someone called quits. They show previews like this upcoming season, and one guy, um, is, has his branch, and he's got a hut knife, and he's like, you know, Widowing away with the branch and it slips it cuts his leg and there's blood um, But you don't know if he taps out or not that you got to wait till that episode happens um, There you have it um next Thursday is the new episode because it's on for so late And I'm gonna watch it the following Saturday because it's on earlier and I'll be back with Telling you about what happened the second episode of alone here season 8 grizzling mountain um, comment below um, if you're watching this show this season, um, who you think is going to win it, um, after the first two weeks after you meet everybody, who you like to see win it, um, yeah, and if you haven't seen this show yet, folks, definitely worth checking out on TV, it's a pretty good, interesting series, stay safe, everybody, too sweet, bye.